welcome to a Halloween science video from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. My name is Meredith and I'm sharing two science experiments for you today that are perfect for any younger, maybe preschool age or to even toddler age scientists that you have at home. And I think older scientists would enjoy these as well. So we are showing, I'm showing you disappearing ghosts and monster ice today. So uh, both of these experiments I think should be pretty easy with things you have at home and they're both super safe um, to do with really young scientists and uh, I think they'll be a lot of fun and perfect for the Halloween season. So we're going to start with disappearing ghosts. So what I have here are these little um, biodegradable packing peanuts which are made out of corn. And these come in a lot of packages now, and you can also pick up a huge bag of them um, for, and they're very inexpensive um, if you wanna buy some. So these are um, the packing peanuts, and then I just drew a little ghost face on them with a permanent marker. You can do it with a washable marker too. Um, and then I have a cup of water and a pipette. You could also use a paintbrush if you don't have a pipette at home. So uh, to start this activity, I would ask scientists to investigate their ghosts. What do they feel like? Does it remind you of anything? Um, these do look like a popular snack. So be careful that your young scientists do not eat them because they do look tasty. So uh, then I would invite scientists to start using their pipette or their paintbrush to try and make their ghosts disappear. So if I have a pipette, I'm gonna fill my bubble and then I'm going to choose one ghost and put some water on it. And we already see that its facial features are coming off. <laughs> and we will gradually see that this ghost starts to disappear. The more water we put on it, the more it gets so that it has many holes in it, and eventually it will completely disappear. So it does take a minute, so we won't show the ghost totally disappearing. So then once our ghost disappears, I would ask young scientists what they think happened. Do you think your ghost really disappeared? How does it look different than a ghost that has not um, had any water on it yet? And then you could tell them the science behind this. So our ghost is not really disappearing. What's happening is that since these packing peanuts are made of corn, they dissolve or disappear, break down um, into water. And it makes it look like our ghost has disappeared. But if they look closely, they'll be able to see little particles of that corn um, packing peanut in the water pool that they're creating while they make their ghost disappear. And they look spookier and spookier as you add water, which is kind of a fun uh, Halloween bonus. So that is Disappearing Ghosts. That's a really fun activity. I've done it with many, many science classes at the museum, and it's always a hit, especially this time of year. Um, and now for our second science experiment, I have Monster Ice. So for this experiment, you will need to prep either earlier in the day or the night before. Um, what I've done is I've frozen some googly eyes into ice and I used food coloring to make my ice orange just to make it a little bit more fun. And then this is just a little piece of paper. Since my eyes all happened to freeze at the top, I decided to give my monster a little face. So that's all you need for this. I froze this in the bottom of a, a plastic container and then it popped right out and I put it on a plate. Then you also need a cup of water and you can again use your pipette or your paintbrush. And I put a little bit of salt in this water and I also made the water warm. So what we're going to be doing is unfreezing the monster ice and we're going to try to um, free all of the eyeballs. So this one again is gonna take a little while but you're gonna put some of your salt, warm salt water on the eyeballs and all around your monster ice and try to release those eyeballs. And if you don't have googly eyes at home, you probably have some Halloween related trinket that you could freeze in ice. Um, kids tend to like unfreezing anything out of ice, so it doesn't have to be eyeballs. You could have one of those spider rings or an eraser or anything like that. And this activity um, really keeps kids 
involved and interested much longer than you think it's going to. So eventually my eyeballs will unfreeze, I'll get them all out, and then they'll probably keep playing with their uh, monster ice. So if you wanna talk a bit about the science, um, ask why we think there's salt in the water and why we think the water is warm. Obviously the warm water helps melt the ice faster and the salt helps break down the ice and help it melt faster. And once we're approaching, since we're approaching winter, you can talk about how we put uh, salt on the sidewalks and driveways to make the ice melt and make them a little bit safer. So I hope you have fun trying these Halloween science experiments, disappearing ghosts and monster or spooky Halloween ice. And if you want instructions on how to do these, they are on our blog and you can check them out there. And we hope you have a very happy Halloween.